Well, hello out there. It's Mrs. Coli. I hope you're having a great day. Today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of data collection and also the importance of looking at our essential standards to help us decide which standards are probably the most important um, pertaining to a certain class's academic needs. So I was just going to highlight what I did uh, with my team member in trying to figure out what would be the the most effective and efficient way to help. So what I discovered through this whole process is that when we're trying to decide which essential standard to use um, to track throughout the whole school year, I discovered a number of things that really impacted my students ability to go from maybe a one or a two at the beginning of the year as far as um, efficiency on the standard to an actual three by the mid mid year. And so it was about teaching, reteaching, um, testing. Hey, I also wanted to mention to you um, some of the, the things I discovered through this data collection process. I wanted to share some of, of my results and my data analysis um, with you with the hopes that it too might help you as you're trying to decide, you know, what is the, the most efficient and effective way um, to test and teach and then retest and reteach these different standards that we feel as teachers are the most essential standards. And what I was focusing on this year, um, because of the needs of my class I have, I have a really, really low fourth grade class. And so I'd say the, the majority of the class when I started the school year were uh, probably the end of second grade, maybe beginning of third grade. So I realized as a teacher that I would need to go back and reteach a lot. And I felt like in the case with math, um, in order for any student to do well, they have to have a really good understanding of the base 10 system and how each number has a place in that system and what its value is. You know, as we compare numbers, as we round numbers, and then as we go on to multiply and divide numbers, they have to really have a solid foundation with their, their um, base 10 system. So I focused this year on helping all of my students develop a better knowledge and skill set dealing with their base 10 system. So I just felt like if I really help my students develop a good number sense and understand each of those numbers values by its given place in the place value chart, that that would significantly impact them. And as I looked at report card grades, um, I truly did find that all but two of my students grew. So anyways, what I gathered from this is that as a teacher, um, it's better to focus on the quality of the education and the teaching instruction. And so along the way of my instruction, I, I had created formative assessments just to grade that one essential standard. And that was the NBT, NBT2. And so I hope that this helps you. And I thought I would show some of my data collection just to kind of show you how I use that to help me as I was helping my and students. I hope that you um, also are able to use your data collection to help gauge your students' instruction and also to form your small groups and, um, and to tailor, you know, what instruction are you providing on a daily or a regular basis. Until next time, bye-bye.
I just wanted to make sure that I clarified um, so that when you saw they went from a three to a three for that particular standard, they may not have actually scored that high truly at the beginning of the year when I assessed them in August, but by the time that I um, filled out their report cards, they had mastered it, which is exciting as a teacher to see that growth. So anyways, I hope this helps, and I hope that you have a lot of fun as you are um, analyzing your data and, and watching the growth of your students too. Until next time, bye-bye.